protest. The people of a democratic right to peaceful protest. Yes. Stating the obvious, we are liaising with the organisers. You can take a copy. <laughs> uh, turn it into the sun just a little bit, instead of having a shadow on it. I don't know. Let me pass. Oh no, the square's been taken over by protesters. Four million pounds it cost to build this square. Previously it was a car park, so I'm guessing nice and level. Well, it was European <laughs> Union funding. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, their, 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 ex their, their excuse is that, well, legally we, we had to spend it on this and we've been fraudulent to spend it in any other way. The, the, the point of the matter is, is that in this day and age, we've got funding and money available for beautification projects and aesthetic things, but we don't have, uh, have, have money uh, for, uh, for the important things. Like, so they uh, had uh, four million pounds to spend on this space and chose not to show any of the artifacts under the ground. They chose to hide and bury permanently under concrete. Well, well, <laughs> I mean, lots I mean, of medieval and Roman well, stuff. I mean, I mean, like, like for me, I, I, I don't, I don't. What, what, I, what I've got about is the fact that, um, yeah, you know, money should have been better spent on the things that were needed. It's yeah, much yeah. more money because there's also eight million spent on the reburial of Richard III yeah, in this just area. Just a hundred yards away, yeah. And two years ago, before <clears throat> they actually started designing this space. They spent two million on revamping the car park, so we're now talking 40 million for this little area. And it's not that this area isn't now a nice open public space, but given the cuts to homeless hostels, social housing, you know, elderly care homes. But it's not as if the area society. has an ugly carbuncle of a really shit car park or anything just across the other side of the road or anything, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, like, like... They're just trying to gentrify the area, so all this expensive student accommodation behind you and the next five miles of student accommodation well, can be a bit more expensive. There's, there's also every city planner, every, you know, kind of urban designer should be fully aware that what we need in the 21st century is spaces, urban spaces, that are friendly to bees and butterflies and birds. It's absolutely Yeah, not crucial. just grass. And not just grass, and this is so sanitised. That's not the main reason well, that look, people are here. The main reason yeah. we're here is because of democracy being ill. Yeah, well, like, so shout, big shout out to everybody. I'm sorry, I've just woken up. Um, <laughs> um, please, please come on down, uh, set up your own camp. We've got, Turn this um, way so we've got the sun on you. We've got uh, you've got occupied democracy coming up. You've got uh, b um, big up to to Liverpool, to Bank of uh, England building in Liverpool of getting yeah, occupied. Absolutely up in Manchester where they where they've, they've, they've occupied outside the town hall square. Big up. Is that um, Boris again? Uh, pardon? <laughs> Is that with Boris again? <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't I don't I don't know who's behind <laughs> it, but, but big respect <laughs> to whoever you are. Um, <laughs> and you got you got. Uh, um, uh, Running Mead, UK Camp, big up to them. Um, yeah, they've got a uh, lot of need for help in Running Mead at the moment. Yeah, so so like there's there's an awful lot of things going on. Big up to big up to uh, the the uh, um, squatters and homeless autonomy, to anal, to uh, love activists, or um, and, and, and to to everyone really who's who's who's, who's fighting. Uh, to, to the people who would never consider standing as councillors who, who, who step forward or, or as MPs who step forward to say right I'm going to take this on um, Big up Bear Yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, It's just wonderful having people like Bear that are uh, not just ecologically minded Yeah, yeah, yeah but geologists by trade and yeah. profession Yeah, yeah now, Is he a ge geologist? Yeah, so I he's a professional that. geologist I never knew that. <laughs> but him, that's why he takes such a hard line against fracking. Yeah. And yeah. that's led him into more vocal politics. And that's now why he's standing as a Green okay. MP awesome. candidate. Awesome, awesome. So what we do is we need people to come down, please. Please share, share, share the call, this call out. Uh, we need people to come down. Um, we need the speakers, not like speakers in. 
<laughs> we need them too. But, 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 <laughs> but, la, la, la. So we need, we need, we need people who want to do talks. We're going to have workshops, discussion groups. We're up for talking about all sorts of things. We're here about <coughs> talking about wealth distribution, uh, the corporatocracy, which you've got mentioned. We had a fantastic conversation with, with, with a lovely fella last night of something like one o'clock in the morning. I remember came, this conversation. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he, came, he came down and. And then and, and it's the, 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 them reeled off and, and, and was able to verbalise things in a way that... The, this was the, 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 the student. But, yeah, it was a student and, and, and it verbalised things in, in a fantastic way, fantastic storyteller. Completely um, on key on every single aspect <laughs> of what he said. Though. So, 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 so like, if you've done your research, if you've done your whatever, you're welcome down here. Even if you haven't done your research, you're welcome down here. This is about sharing the knowledge. You're welcome to rock up and put your tents down here. And, and, and say, at the moment in Leicester, we've got um, an, un- an unelected mayor um, acting as the executive. So basically, none of the councillors have votes on anything um, in, in, in this in, in, in this city. Um, and, the, you know, it's not a democratic situation. What's the point of having a councillor if they can't vote on stuff? Well, well, well this, 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 this is I'm it. just a normal I mean, country I mean, bred... They're on committees and corn they, give, they, give, chicken, they kind of give advice, but... It, Surely, a councillor, just like an MP, is elected by the public, and the public tell this councillor or MP, this is what we want you to do. We hear yeah. this is being discussed. We want you to vote like this. Yeah, and yeah. then that councillor or MP should only do what their own public want them to do. Yeah. And, and oh, yeah, I would like... Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. That's not... That's, I mean, that... Yeah, that's the romantic ideal. <laughs> yeah. we, we know that's not the case. It's the same in the European Parliament. We we elect MEPs, and and they d- discuss and debate and come up with all kinds of things. But it's the European Council that decide on things, hmm. and uh, you know it's completely undemocratic, unelected set of people. Yeah. So it's all a sham. It's all a pretense of of some kind of democracy. And even if it were actually the case that the MEPs or the councillors decide on things. They don't talk about issues that are important to us. You know, they don't talk about everyday lives and... and they certainly don't and speak about the paedophilic lords yeah. they, <laughs> in they the area around Leicester. They have no realistic concept of, of what fracking is. They talk about blank... Oh, they do! They talk fracking about is blank. perfectly safe. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> yeah, and science says so. <laughs> But they sit in Parliament talking about blank cigarette packets, for fuck's sake, you know. Yep. <laughs> they don't talk about people going hungry. They don't talk about child poverty. They don't talk about, you know, a proper 21st century education system. Or, or, mm-hmm. or the fact that 0.6% of the population own 69% of the yep. land. Or, you know, about about the distribution of land, wealth, all of these things. Disparity of wealth. Yeah. So, so, come down. Come on! <laughs> bring your ideas. Bring Come down and speak to people. We'll bring you a crowd so people can instruments. listen to you, or bring you can pass the information to Dan here, mind. and Dan will tell everyone if you don't bring want your to. Voice. Bring your voice. Um, okay. So, oh no, I wanted to say something, and it was it was going to be really really beautiful, but. There we go. It's gone out of my mind now. You'll come back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And and we had the Green Party mayoral candidate for Leicester down here yesterday. Seems like a lovely fella. Um, he, and and I asked him if we were to try and have an open de- open air debate, um, would you would you be willing to come and support uh, 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 well and do it? And he said yes, he was. So that's that's what we've got one one mayoral candidate um, ready ready to to debate in the open. Um, to and to field questions from from the public, um, and also so so we also offer that extend that offer to all the other um, mayoral candidates. Have a hostings here. Yeah, um, it's Peter Salisbury <laughs> who, who, who who put a, put a, an equally vague. Uh, 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 message in the quote in the, in the paper. Oh, they seem to contradict themselves. We don't know what to say. Uh, yeah. I say this to you. Um, there's nothing contradictory in what in what we're doing, really, is there? I mean, we're we're here to uh, to 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 kind of help instigate and, and and encourage the community to actually explore and learn what's going on in their world and in their communities. So well, um, maybe he's picking it up because several times yesterday I heard people say phrases along the lines of when people are trying to work out what why does democracy need an accident and emergency unit 
when when people are trying to explain what we see or may see as possibilities to why democracy is broken, and you go, well, maybe it's because of this. Or alternatively, maybe it's not because of this. Maybe it's the complete inverse. Maybe it's this that you might see in your mind. Yeah. That's not us having some kind of a duality. Yeah. That's just us well, not wanting to force ideas on folk and letting folk explain what they think so discussion can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a forum. Exactly. And, 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 but it's also, it's also a, a space. Right under here was expressions. where the original forum for Leicester was. Do you know that? No, no, I didn't know that. Yeah. Back in Roman days, uh, I was awake until about 8 o'clock this morning. Well, that brown board over, over there. Sorry, mate, I'm just trying to get the camera past you. There you go first. Oops, go back in again. Oh, cool. That brown board there. Forum of the Stills. Yeah. That explains everything about this area uh, back into Roman times. Other ones around the area explain it back even further deeper under the ground into like medi medieval and uh, oh, that prior to that. That explains your comments about artifacts under the exactly. ground. Exactly. So I, I was kind of like, They're oh, hiding the fact that this exactly. is the centre of the forum. Oh, right. right here. Okay. We always so end up. We always, so we always seem to end up. So on these historically, places. it is a place for debate and decision making. One hundred percent. And gathering and. Um, and that's why process. the protest is here, is it not? Ah, yes. This better come up in court if you take well, him there. anyway without <laughs> knowing all these facts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. So thank you very much, Lester, for giving us the exact information and evidence that we require to have a protest camp remain here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll say this. Oh, yeah, and, and, and just one more thing. Candidates are welcome to. I haven't said that. Specifically, I said we we're going to try and get a mayoral debate going on. So, so also candidates, people who want to who who who, who want to throw their hat into the ring of the crown, and local MPs. <laughs> They're welcome to come here. Local but, MPs, but, but, but. you're more than welcome to come down, especially the sitting or the most recently sitting MP. Come on down here <laughs> and try and explain to your public why you did not call democracy out as being fable. You, the sitting MP for this area. Surely they must know that democracy is broken. Why did yeah. they not Ashworth, come John out Ashworth, and tell folk? Because this yeah. is Castle Ward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, then. Well, John Ashworth, come on down. Yeah, let's have a hustings for the MPs as well as the councillors. Yeah. Right here. We, 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 we've, we've kept our pitchforks in the garage at the moment. At the at moment. moment. <laughs> They're being sharpened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to go get some breakfast. <laughs> Enjoy, mate. Right. Ladies and gentlefolks, I'll be back later. Thank you very, very much. Oh, yeah, another thing. <laughs> Anybody that can assist with any form of solar panelling or uh, car batteries to store power from solar panels or anything at all that can assist down here, greatly needed. I'm okay, I've got my own kit, but I'm not here permanently. Uh, but all the grass in this area, as you might see, is very sloped and angular. The sun, plenty of it. Let's use some of the sun rays, let's have some solar power. With the solar power we can have cinemas going, we can have sound, we can have people being able to charge their mobile phones, to charge torches, to do everything and anything that requires to be done. Anybody with a tent, with a mind to come and speak, you're more than welcome. Come on down and speak to folk. Uh, maybe make sure it's a very thick tent or put a layer of paint on it because the sun comes up here at five o'clock in the morning at the moment.